Hi everyone, I hope that's nice and clear. Yeah, you will have to excuse my hands because we have been delving. Look, I even got stamped on today. Because we'd been to the car boot this morning at Weatherby. We loaded up, went out, got stamped, went back in. <laughs> um, I have to say, there was quite a lot there. It was heaving, in fact. Now, I don't know what's in it. Well, you know the guy we bought all the jewellery off last week? Well, he sold me another couple of boxes, and all I do is... I mean, if he threw the boxes in, I don't want the boxes at all, and I don't want to change them or anything like that. I'm not fussed about them at all. Um, but I just take the jewellery out, as you know. So I'm going to take it out of here, and then look at it and put it all back in. Now, these were just these scrap boxes that we buy from him. Whatever's in them doesn't matter. He just dunks it all in and says, take it. So I'm going to go through it. And I have to tell you, there was lots and lots and lots. Lots of uh, jewellery today. And yes, we bought tons of it. Oh, it's a little cameo. Don't throw that away. So I'm just going to dunk everything here. So it's got to be two or three videos at least. Because I bought heaps and heaps and heaps of stuff. And I have to tell you, ladies, we picked up some extra excellent things we really did and there's stuff stuck in the back and I'm going to get it out let me just check what everything is don't want to waste anything oops I don't know what that is off a comb I think or something like that little earring things oh some more bits here in the back coins right okay let's have a look we got these earrings so this was all bought in bulk. There's this and two other boxes. Uh, they're nice. Uh, and to be honest, I would just leave them as flower centres and just take the backs off. So that... Uh, uh, sorry, hope you saw them. Yep. Man's watch, take apart, take all the innards out of it. Nice watch face. Nice little brooch, used as a flower centre. Oh, look. Embossed butterfly. Don't know what it is. Whoops a daisy. Yeah, quite nice. Um, cameo earrings. And I think that's what the... There's another one there. So there's a pair of those. Oh, that I saw that. That's that. Well, if that comes out, that will. Because I don't use gents earrings. Unless I can use... Oh, oh look. Now, that would be a nice little pedestal type of thing, wouldn't it? Miniature. And put a ball on it. Hmm. Well, don't waste them then. Nice little stone. Little fob watch. Don't know what coin that is. Franks. Ten francs. There we go. Um, earrings, which are the... Um, oh, it'll come to me in a minute. Another coin. Vintage earrings. Pearl drop earrings. Saw the other one, so that. There it is. Like that. Marker's eat. Knew it would come to me. Nice little uh, flower centre one. I'm going through it quickly because there's an awful lot. And if you see anything that you like, ladies, email me straight away because if I can help, it's a lot of work putting it up on it. See, it really, really is. There will be, of course, grab bags again um, and I will tell you what I'm selling singular. So if I say I'm selling it on its own, then you, you have to buy it on its own. If I, if I don't say anything, then it'll go in the grab bags and you have to take potluck that you get that grab bag. But nice little cameo. These all go in grab bags. I'm not splitting them. Oh, actually, no, I'll sell them single. They're good, good ones, those. You'll get a grab bag. All these are grab bags. Some nice pearls today. Nice long one. That'll sell on its own. I sell them on their own because you, you're getting a lot of pearl for your money. Okay. So let's see if we can sort this out. Oh. Well, no. <laughs> but lots of chain, lots of beads, more pearls. Lots of little dangly bits and earrings and nice piece of amber. It is a nice piece, actually. Um, put those on the top. 
Nice little bits for earrings. That is an earring, you know what I mean, to use as a charm. Vintage, yes, it is, and got bent. And there was a few of these in there, but a vintage stick pin. Now, I have to say, I have a selection of uh, stick pins that I've collected around the car boots for many years, and I'm going to be putting them up for sale. And all you have to do, they're usually just the tops. All you have to do is add to them. Uh, but they are vintage, so uh, selling them, you know, I can sell them as they are ready for somebody else to decorate. Or I can decorate them, and I might do that. I don't know, I'll see. Lots and lots of different things. Quite a few pearls today. Just, whoops, don't you go. Into my hand you go. Diamante, um earrings and little bobbly bits and more watches lots and lots to play around with oh that was a pair uh, some lovely turquoise beads these are gorgeous they are acrylic but they're nice for charms so they'll be in grab bags and i did like this one let's have a look see what we can do look at that that's going to go as is Got all the beads on there, glass beads and pearls, beautiful ones, square ones. That's a nice bracelet on its own. And like I say, the rest of this lot will go in grab bags. We've got some, oh there's the other earring. We've got some really nice stuff today, I'm absolutely thrilled with it. And there's a nice uh, brooch. Got a couple of stones missing, but I'm sure stickles. You can use stickles if you've got the right colour, or if you've got these little beads, you might be able to... Or even, I would chop that off, to be honest, if you haven't, can't match it up. That's still going to look pretty. So that's that, and some pearls. Okie dokie, that's the first box. Now, I don't know where I'm going to put it all until I've sorted it. But like I say, whatever you see, if you like it, let me know. And it saves me putting it up on Etsy, because I really, really... So get a pen and paper, ladies, and write it down. Oh, let me have a look. Oh, I found some of these. Um, I'm going to show you. We got all sorts, but I think outside the box when I'm collecting. Happened to bump into my friend uh, Yeti250, that's uh, Yvette. She was there today. Actually, borrowed a pound off her husband. <laughs> well, he offered... Um, I didn't have any change on me and uh, I didn't want to leave what it was so he paid for me so I said oh that's all right I'll I'll pay him back with interest I'll make him a card I don't make cards <laughs> right I found these now I'm not sure if you can see what they are they're like little uh, dried mushrooms but they're fabulous in decorations you know in your projects and things like that so always look out for things like this and underneath as you can see it's like the hay like the straw stuff well straight away you've got your bird's nest stuff haven't you Okay, so you can make your own bird's nests and whatever. You'll see, none of that will go to waste at all. Never. I uh, found a little bag of things as well. It was only 20p. It's got little dried bits in, so all that can go into projects as well. And then four bottles. These were 20 pence each. Um, I don't know if I'm keeping them. Don't know. Bath salts, I think they are. But uh, use them in miniatures, you see, so... Oh, yeah, I might do. I don't know yet. Now, I did manage to find these. And you all know when you're getting married and you go to buy your cake stands, they're quite expensive. Look. Um, these were pricey, but they were cheap enough to buy for me to pass on. And they will look great stuck on a project somewhere. And then have some, uh, you know, like a, a bird on top or something like that. So I was thrilled. They're not... Well, they are, they're acrylic, so they're not the cheapy plastic ones. And I managed to find several of them. So they are, and I'm going to tell you how much they are now. And if you want a set, let me know. Email me. Send me a message. Okay, but it's first come, first serve. And there's about six or seven sets of these. Um, and these are a pound a set. A pound a set, okay? And they're really great. I mean, you could pay that for one. Let's be honest, come on. So that's a pound a set, and I thought, no, I'm sure the girls will use those in the projects. So I have several of those, like I say. Look, really nice. Um, I picked these up, um, which I'm going to keep. 
because I'm going to take them off and they're nice big porcelain. Do you remember when I got the other one and there was three black and gold? Um, there were porcelain on the back and I'm sure these are as well. These generally are. So, And the frames are nice but I'm going to prise them off and use them as is. So that's those. Just show you the pictures on those. I might sell them. I don't know yet. Depends. I can't make my mind up. If people are interested, let me know. I don't know what I'm going to charge yet. Because I paid a bit for them, but, you know, it's still cheap. And then this is uh, like an alabaster one. Uh, a plaque. But I love that. I thought that in the centre of somewhere. That's going to be fantastic. Look at that. It's not heavy, heavy. But that would look absolutely brilliant somewhere on a book, wouldn't it? Right, centre of a book. Fantastic. So that's that. If you're interested, let me know. Um, and then the three birds, which I thought were fantastic to go on projects. Okay. And I'll tell you right now. Right, they are metal. And that's going to be £3 for the set. £3 for the set. You'll get all three. They will look stunning, either done in silver or silver and gold, whatever. Oh, if you want this alabaster one, this one for the front of a book, and like I say, it is gorgeous, I have to say. Um, let me think. £2 for that. And that's good. That's a good, good price. Two quid for that one. £3 for the birds. Uh, and this little frame is 50 pence. There is a cameo in there, there is some pearls, but you might want to use it as is. So that's 50p if anybody's interested. That's what I paid for it, so. Now, you will never believe, because you know what, sometimes I have, I just, I, don't, I amaze myself. <laughs> but you know, I've been looking for all these bloody teapots and that. Oh, I got this one, look, to do it. I'm going to take that off and do a fairy in a jar. And I will put the butterfly back in. In fact, I might use the butterfly for her wings. So I'm going to do that. But I amaze myself. Oh, not that. That's some uh, nice pearls. That will be sold as is with the uh, cabochon. Acrylic one. Because I found these. Nice little dish. Nice little plate. Nice little plate. Another nice little plate. And another nice little plate. And what was on them all? Bloody teapots and cups and saucers. <laughs> Look at them. I'm looking for teapots to do that thing. And there's all different ones. Fantastic. So I'm just going to pop these out. I think that's that set. I could not believe it. I thought, you twit, Fiona. <laughs> um, I mean, look at them. They're absolutely gorgeous. She makes them all look. She just dropped them in. Look, that will look perfect pouring, won't it? Paint it all black and silver or whatever. That goes on that one. This one's from Spain or somewhere like that, I think. But it's a nice size. I just couldn't believe it. And I thought, oh, my God, I've looked everywhere. Bloody everywhere for the stuff. Oh, that's that one. Go to a car boot and what's there? Everything. <laughs> it's just stunning. So, I'm, we're not keeping them all because other people can have the chance to own them as well. But, um, let me just see. Um, is that that one? No, it's that one. Oh, just abide with me. Ugh. Oh. Couldn't believe it. Five I managed to pick up. And, you know, I don't pass a bag enough either. So, I will pass them on. That's not that one. That's that one. That's that one. That's that one. That's that one. That one. That one, oops. 
Yeah, always pass a good bargain on. Um, what's that one from? That one somewhere. So what I'm going to do now? Uh, where's that from? Is that from this set? Maybe, maybe not. Don't know. No, it's from that one. Um. That goes on there, that goes on there as well. Yeah, so there's five sets. Um, I'm going to keep the blue one because it's the right shape that I want. So I'm going to keep that set. And if anybody's interested in this, so there's that blue set. They are stunning. Whoops. The one from Spain, which is a nice one. I mean, I... Use them in miniatures in your uh, shadow boxes and to, uh, use that for putting beads on. Uh, or that one, which is the pink and cream. And I'd say that was the yellowy cream. So the yellowy cream, pink and cream, the one from Spain and that blue set. If anybody wants them, um, I'm charging £3 each. £3 each set and that's a good deal. Okay. So if you're interested, let me know. So that's that. I'm going to pop them all back in now. The fantastic. You know to put in your shadow boxes. Fantastic. If you only use one, just to stand in there. Look at that in a little washroom. In fact, oh, I like that one actually. No, I like the others. Uh, in a washroom. I do like that one actually. <laughs> Oh, I don't know which I have now. Oh, see, that'd look fantastic. Well, we'll see. I'll have the blue one. I like the blue one. It's only going to get painted black anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Pink and cream. Uh, lemony cream. The Spain, Spanish one. Or the blue one. So if you want one, the £3 a set, let me know. Well, I best put that one in as well, so I'll knock it off. But just, you know, what's it like? I'm not going to hoard them. I'm not a hoarder. Okay, do Yeah, all together there is two, four, six of those sets. Okay? Six of those if you want a set. Pound a set. Can't beat that price. And I'm going to keep a set for myself. Um, I then managed to find this. Now, yes, this is... Where's it gone? It's fallen out of the bag. Oh, where's it gone? Oh, sod it. I'll find it in a minute. Hang on. Uh, this is for sale. Do you remember I brought it? Uh, Lee Lindsay, you bought it. Do you remember the hands? Well, this is the um, cherub with the heart. Lasting expressions. Um, and again, if you want that, um, Lee, or anybody, should I say, but that does go with that hand, set of hands. Um... That's also £3 a set. So it's £3 for the whole thing. Okay. I, I can, for save a packaging, take this out. But it's got uh, blocks or something underneath. I don't... What are they? I don't get this, me. I don't get what it is. Let me just see. Oh, is it a block? Oh, it stands on the block, I think. So you get the acrylic block. I'd use that as a, for my stamps. <laughs> yes, I know. But there you go. So that's £3 for that. Like I say, I might as well tell you the prices. From what I can, anyway. <clears throat> I got this to take off the animals because I know they'd look good in projects. So if you look at these, they're only key holders. They can easily come off and use them in your projects. When you're doing your altered art, it'd be nice to put something on like that. Now, I've got some dress forms. Um, I've got several, but I have to tell you now, grab them. If you want them, don't hesitate, grab them. Right, I've got this one. Hope you can see it. That is small. It measures about 10 inches tall. Um, it's a ruched uh, bodice with a base like that. It's quite pretty, that, and it looks like new, actually. Um, but if you're wanting that one, that's £3. Sorry. So it's £3 for that one. I always pick them up because people do buy them. This one I adore, but I've got loads. I don't need any more than what I've got. 
This one is uh, 15 inches tall, maybe more. Uh, nice ornate top. Beautiful bodice. Um, in fact, I wouldn't alter this at all. I would keep it as is because it's stunning. Um, it's got a ruched top uh, here. Beautiful, beautiful, long, sleeky dress. And it's got a train on the bottom bit as well. Um, and that one, I have to say, um, £5 for that one because it's well worth that. I would pay more. And I know that was an expensive one anyway. And it's got the ruche on the back. So that one's £5. The other one is £3. I've got to find that thing that goes in there. Where is it? Oh, here it is. It's fallen out of the box. But I have to show you this one. And I'm telling you now, ladies, grab it while you can. I had to buy this, I had no choice, because it's stunning. Look at that, and you could even put flowers up here, you could display things in here, but that is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, beautiful, mint condition, in its own box. Um, and you know what, that's also... Uh, £3.50 for that one. £3.50 for that. Not making much on it at all. Um, I didn't buy it for me because I don't collect them anymore. I've got my own. I don't need any more. But I think anybody who's collecting shoes, it's it's quite a nice one. And I'll show you this one as well. Because I managed to get another one. Wherever I put it. Wherever I put, oh, oh, I've got these as well. Oh, I forgot all about these. Right, okay, okay. <sighs> Let's call that the posh one, and that's £3.50. It is a satin material it's covered in. And then I've got these three. Okay, I hope you can see these. Beautiful shoes. Make them into pin cushions. If that one. That one. And that one. Okay. They're a pound each. Pound each for that, but that one is three pound fifty. That is a collector's one. It's a Leonardo one. Okay. Now I'm gonna to have to clear some of the table off because I've got blooming loads to show you. <laughs> so let's just pop these away. I hope you've got your pens, ladies, and write down what you want. It's first come, first serve, I have to tell you. And I really can't be bothered. I don't have the time today, to be honest, to put everything on um, Etsy. I just don't have the time. Right, that's those, and that's those. Now, let's get this bag full up. It was absolutely heaving out there today. There were so many people out and I've never ever had to uh, line up outside right down the bottom of the field, but we did. And I have to tell you, it was heaving. And it, they had the stores outside as well as inside the field. They actually filled the field up completely. It's going to take two or three videos to get this lot done today, I'll tell you that now. I mean, I'll put on as much as I can on Etsy, but to be honest, I just want to get it sold and out of the way because I don't, I have no room for it. So I hope you've got your pens working ready. Okay. Ah. Oh, bum. Up oh, the bum's out again. <laughs> Whew. Right, I can now put things in that bag. So I'm going to show you these. There was, oh, here they are. I managed to pick up four of these eggs. I just think they're going to look cute in an altered project. Um, beautiful. Look at the fairy with the sleeping fairy. Isn't she gorgeous? Just gorgeous. 
I just love them. I think they're so, so cute. Um, I did get these, and I'll tell you why. This is where I think outside the box. These are bells, okay? But look, Fifi charms look fantastic, won't they? So I'm going to be using those on the charm, so they're not for sale. The fairies and that are for sale if you're interested. Oh, these two lovely cherubs. There is a little bit of gold missing off them, but apart from that, they're fine. Okay. Just gold paint will do them back up. So they are for sale. And uh, what I paid for them, I paid £3 for the pair. But they are really nice. That's not bad, £3 for the pair, you know. Okay. Nice size as well. Oh, I bought this for myself because I might just use this for the witch. I might make my own witch look. Because mine's a nice witch, you see. <laughs> and I just saw it in a box of sewing stuff and I said, oh, I'll have that. So that's my witch. I'm going to put a body to her. Now I managed to get these as well. So these are for sale if anybody wants them. Um, the only thing is, because of the weight in them as well, and they are on it. They're very, very pretty, very pretty ones. They look fantastic on altered art, uh, and that's a five pound. And I actually paid four pound fifty, and I'm charging five pound for them because of my Etsy fees and things like that. So if you're interested, all three of them for five pound. Um. And PayPal fees, you know what I mean, to, for transactions to go through. Right, there's this, lots of chain. Okay. Lots of chain on that one. Different ones. They're fantastic. Um, the jewellery. Hmm. Well, that'll be so singular anyway. So, if you're, in, if you're interested, just let me know. Those are separate. I bought them for myself. Right, these, again, will be sold separate because they are good quality. Lots of charms, butterflies, glass uh, beads and uh, beautiful spaces, right? And I have to tell you, these are them expensive uh, beaded ones. Um, and I had to really haggle her down for these. And I think I got three or four of them. So I've got them in green, and these are going to be £3 each necklace. But you are getting a lot of charms on and things like that and spaces. Some roundels and these are the crystals. So there's the green one. Oh, there's another green one. Right, so I have two green. Okay, identical ones. They're £3 each. And this one, which is the, this one's, I love the colours, like the pinky one, okay? And that's a good price for what you're getting. I thought there was another one, actually. Oh, no, there's this one. Love this one. These are all glass beads. Are they? No. Oh, they are. All of them, glass beads. These are uh, crackles.